All right, so let's talk about page four in the percent math pack. Page four is going to ask you to change percents to fractions and decimals and back and forth. Remember that any value that is given can be expressed as a percent and as a fraction and as a decimal. So let's start with number one, express each percent as a decimal. So remember from the lesson how to change percents to decimals. So if I have on number one, 21%, and I need to change this to a decimal, I need to divide by 100. Now remember, powers of 10. When you're dividing or timesing by 100, you are going to move your decimal two spots. And since we're dividing, we're going to move to the left to make it smaller. So remember, I have 21%. I need to add a decimal. When I don't have a decimal, it goes at the end of the number. And then I move it two spots. One, two. So 21% is 0 0.21 or 21 hundredths. I divided by 100 and moved that decimal two spots over. So now I have my decimal. So that's how you're going to do all the rest of the questions from 1 to 8. You're going to divide by 100, move the decimal two spots over. Let's take a look at number 9. Number 9 asks you to change your percent to a fraction lowest terms. So I have 25%. And remember, percent means out of 100. So 25% means 25 over 100 denominator. And don't forget lowest terms. So using those 100 math facts that we learned in the lesson, you're going to take your 25 and your 100, and you have to figure out, right, what can I divide both of them by to make it smaller? Now your math facts from from back in the lesson, you know that you can divide 100 by 25. And you know you can divide 25 by 25, of course. So that's the biggest number they have that's in common. So you're going to divide them both by 25 to find the lowest terms. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. And there's your fraction on lowest terms. So for the questions all the way from 9 all the way to 20, you're going to take your percent, you're going to stick it as the numerator, your denominator will be 100, and then you'll find lowest terms from that fraction. Let's talk about number 21. So for number 21, it says express each percent as a decimal. Now this is exactly the same thing as we did on number 1 all the way to number 8. You're doing the same thing, percent to decimal. So percent to decimal, on number 21, I have 27%. And it's the same method. You take your 100, you divide it into your 21, you move your decimal two spots over. So it's the same thing, percent to decimal, divide by 100. If you don't have a decimal, which often in percents you don't have a decimal, so you have to add one at the end of the number, and then you move two spots over, and now you have 0 0.27, or 27 hundredths. So again, that's the same thing. It's exactly the same as number 1 and number 8. Number 21 to number 28, same method. Divide by 100, move your decimal two spots over. Let's take a look at number 29. Number 29, express each percent as a fraction in lowest terms. It's the same as number 9. So you take your percent and you put it as the new numerator with your denominator as 100. So for number 29, I have 15. 15% 15 will be 15 over 
100 because that is your new fraction. Whatever your percent is goes on top, your 100 goes on the bottom. And then of course you still need to find lowest terms. So you think all the numbers that I can divide into 15 and 100. Start with 15 because there will be less numbers. It's a smaller number. So I can divide 1, 3, 5, and 15 into 15. And then you think about 100. What are the numbers that I can divide into 100 that are the same as the numbers that I can divide into 15? And the only ones that have that are the same are 1 and 5. So I'm going to use 5. Fifteen divided by five is three, and one hundred divided by five is twenty. So there's your new fraction with your denominator of twenty on lowest terms now. Okay, so if you take a look um, from number twenty-nine all the way to number forty, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to take your percent, you're going to put it as your new numerator with your denominator of a hundred, and then you're going to find lowest terms. All right, let's talk about number 41. Number 41 is a, a chart where you're going to have to move back and forth between the fractions and the decimals and fill in the blanks. So if you take a look, you've got your percents. And you've got your fractions. And you've got your decimals. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that whatever you've been given, you find the equivalent one in all the rest of the columns. So I want you to think about it. Let's do number one together. I've got 75%. And I need to express that as a fraction and as a decimal. So 75% would be 75 over 100. Don't forget to do lowest terms. I know I can divide them by 25 to get a smaller fraction. So 75 divided by 25 is 3. 100 divided by 25 is 4. And then my decimal, changing a percent to a decimal, is you divide by 100. So take your 75%, divide by 100, move your decimal two spots over so that you have 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths. So you're going to fill out the whole chart and you're going to fill in the blanks where you've got you're given either the percent, the fraction, or the decimal, and you have to convert them into the rest of the columns. Remember, if you have any questions about this, you should get in touch with me so that I can help you and walk you through any problems that you have.